Welcome back to Wear Wigs With Me. Today I am wearing On Point by Raquel Welch in the color Rusty Auburn. So let's get started. On Point is a straight angled bob that has some light layering around the face. It's very sleek, it's very classic. It is just a really great everyday wig for everybody. The cap on On Point is a typical Raquel Welch cap, with one exception. This has a mono part that is in the center. And this is the only wig that I know of that has this. If you love to part your hair in the center, but don't like the price point of a full mono top, then this is great. It does have a uh, lace front and it has a little bit deeper of a lace front. So if you decide that you do want to part it one way or another, you could take a little bit on whichever side and take it over to the other side. You can do that. So just take however much you want and part it whichever way you want. Now, if that is something that you want to stay that way, you're probably gonna have to put a little steam on it. Okay, so it has a lace front, those great Raquel Welch lace fronts. They really stretch temple to temple. The designated center mono part, those great Raquel Welch felt covered ear tabs with the metal stays, the really nice extended nape, those Velcro adjusters. When you put a Raquel Welch cap on, you know you are wearing a Raquel Welch cap. The way they have these caps that just form to your head, it, it just, like you feel it. I love how they really extend that nape so that you just, you get such great coverage and you know that you're covered. You don't have to worry about it. And the same with these ear tabs. I mean, they are just so nice. I, Raquel Welch caps are my favorite cap. I have a 22 and a half inch head, no doubt about it. These are my favorite caps. My second favorite cap is Aesthetica and we're coming into summer and there's a lot of talk about heat and how hot wigs are. I will say that all these features that make me love a Raquel Welch cap, I can see how they're gonna add to a little bit of hotness on a cap because of those closed ear tabs, because of the great coverage, all of those things are going to, you know, add to the heat if that's an issue for you. Where Aesthetica caps, they also provide great coverage not as great as Raquel Welch, but they do provide great coverage. And then their ear tabs and extended nape are open. So that's gonna allow more air in and more breathable. But it's hard to beat a Raquel Welch cap for me. I just instantly feel comfortable and confident when I put a Raquel Welch cap on. Let's talk about the measurements. The front and sides are listed at 10 and a half. The crown is listed at 12 and the back says eight. So they must have a standard of where they start their measurements because that always seems weird to me when it says a crown is 12 and the back is eight, like four inches different. Like, where do you start? I'm just giving you the measurement. So, you know, they, they must have an industry standard of where they start the crown and where they, where they start the back measurements. And then it says the nape is four. You really get that clean line across the back. It is a really cute style and it is just sleek and like, you just look sharp. The color I chose is Rusty Auburn. Raquel Welch has four colors that I love. The first one being the not red one at all is Golden Russet and it's so pretty. It's caramely and golden, just like it says. It's very pretty blonde caramely color. The second one is glazed strawberry. It's got some red in it, still very blonde. Then there's this rusty auburn and now you're getting more into the um, auburn color. So you have the red mixed with blonde. And then finally I love glazed cinnamon and glazed cinnamon is the 
their red color mixed with more of a brunette color and and still a little bit of blonde glaze cinnamon is not too dark for me i love glaze cinnamon but rusty auburn is kind of <sighs> It's always the one I look for. I always want either Rusty Auburn or Glazed Strawberry. Actually, it's kind of hard for me to choose. I love all four, and so whenever I go to pick a style, not every style has every color available. Whenever I go to pick out a style and look at the color, if they have Rusty Auburn, I'm always drawn to it. But it also depends on what the style looks like. Like I picked Editor's Pick in Golden Russet and that's perfect for that style. Like now I can't imagine having that style in Rusty Auburn. Just knowing, you know, how I wear certain styles and where I wear certain styles, then the color kind of goes, goes with all those feelings. And, and that kind of goes into when I choose, how I choose a color is, the style and how I see myself wearing it and all of that is kind of part of the thought process when I'm selecting a color. I just thought Rusty Auburn would look beautiful in this style. And I was right. I absolutely love this color in this style. It's amazing to me how sometimes I get a style and I love this style, but I completely mess up on the color. And that has such an impact on how I feel about the wig. I have several that I haven't reviewed yet. And part of the reason is because I love the style, but I totally messed up on my color choice. And so it's throwing everything off. With Raquel Welch, I know that I have four colors that I love. And so when I pick a style, I, I just scan down for those four colors. They usually have one or two, like Golden Russet and Rusty Auburn are almost always a selection. Glazed Strawberry and Glazed Cinnamon is not always an option. When one of those are, I kinda wanna jump on those. But I like having four options and that's something to keep in mind when you find a brand that you like and you love the caps kind of play around with your your color range and and zero in on three or four colors because you're kind of setting yourself up for disappointment if you only have one color that you love from a brand which I kind of have that with Aesthetica but don't ever do away with that color but I'm setting myself up for disappointment if that brand ever does away with that color then it's like you're starting over. It's another reason why I love Raquel Welch. I have four beautiful colors that I feel very comfortable in, and so no matter what style I choose, I know I'm gonna be happy with the color. The hair fibers on On Point are heat-friendly hair fibers. They are also very soft, and I would say they're not super fine, but they're not super thick and heavy. Raquel Welch wigs are always made with a lot of hair. This has zero permatease, so it's not a heavy wig and it's not an overwhelming wig. It is a very low density wig for Raquel Welch. It is made to lay very flat against your head and just kind of form around your face. The hair fibers, I would say, are like a medium weight. They are just heavy enough that they're going to to hang and keep their shape. I've gotten a couple flyaways in, in wearing it because I tend to mess with this front. I do want it, um, I like a little lift right here and so I kind of do want it away from my face. Otherwise, I, I feel like it falls on my face a little bit too much. And it's not really an ear tucker. Um, when I tuck it behind my ear, I get a little bit too much ear bend and I just don't think that that looks very flattering and even one side I just think it's a little bit too heavy on these sides to be tucked behind the ear now if like if this front section is bothering me then you can I played around with this just like tucking that front section and you can do the same thing over here just like just tuck just just what goes along the side, kind of let this ha ha hair hang out. So you can do that, like if you're gonna wear this to, to work or somewhere where you're gonna be down like this. I mean, even if these back hairs fall down, it's not the, the hairs right around your face falling into your face. It's a very comfortable style to wear. And I know there's a lot of fuss about heat-friendly fibers and Raquel Welch heat-friendly fibers. 
if you're wanting to try a heat friendly fiber, I would say try a straight one and try it above your shoulders. This is a good one to try and Upstage is a good one to try because they are, the hair fibers are a little bit heavier and if you jump right into one like Simmer or Maximum Impact, they're a lot of wig, a lot of hair, and then you're trying to get used to heat friendly hair fibers and I think, it's just gonna to be too much. So if you try a very classic, kind of no fuss wig to start with, and then get used to these heat friendly fibers, I think you'll be a lot happier. And these are just comb and go. Like if you comb out simmer all the time or comb out maximum impact all the time, you're gonna end up with a mess. But I mean, you can, you can comb this one out and it's not tangly. It doesn't, and if you do get some clumping, it doesn't look bad because it's straight. Kind of looks better if it clumps a little bit. Kind of keeps its shape and, and keeps the style. This is a great wig if you're wanting to try heat friendly fibers. Also, like I talked about before, going into summer, going into those warmer months, this is a great Raquel Welch wig to have in your wardrobe because a lot of Raquel Welch wigs, like I said before, they're a lot of hair. They're, they are substantial wigs, but on point is very low density and it, depending on your measurements, it could even sit a little bit higher up on you. I am seven and a half inch long here and about three, two and a half, three inches on my neck. You know, that's, that's 10 inches and the wig, the front and sides are 10 and a half. So if you have a longer face and a longer neck, this might actually hover right above your shoulders and be even more comfortable for heat. The only layering is just kind of right here around the face to, to get that uh, shape around your face. The only thing I'm kind of noticing with wigs going into summer is the more layers you have, the, the more breathable it is. So this isn't going to give you that kind of breathability. What's gonna keep this wig light and summery for you is where it hits you on your neck and shoulders and the fact that it's so low density. So I don't think, and, and there's no permatease. So there's nothing uh, blocking that air that is going to get through. As you're planning out what wigs you wanna buy, I encourage you to include this in your list and give it a try, because I think it's gonna be a great wig for this summer and a great work wig, because even though you know we want these cute, you know, summer styles, but if you're trapped in air conditioning all day, you're freezing your fanny off. So this will be a really cute summer style. Okay, so I've talked about the cap and the color and the measurements and permatease and hair fibers. My overall thoughts about On Point is I feel very comfortable in this wig. Now, I am not as crazy about that center part as I thought I would be. I thought I would love it, but turns out I'm more of a side part girl. But this is a fun wig to change up my style, change up my look. It is amazing how much a center part can change the whole look of your face. <laughs> oh, another person, including myself, that will love this wig is if you wear glasses. Because if you wear glasses, this hair is gonna sit right around your frames and it's not going, it's not going to get in your face. Or this would be a great wig to wear to a, a picnic or a wedding or some sort of outdoor event where you have sunglasses on all day because this hair is gonna sit right around those frames and then you're gonna look sleek and sophisticated and put together for your whole day. Okay, so I really like it. I love the hair fibers. Of course, I love this cap. I am crazy about this color and it's just, it's a very comfortable wig to wear. It's a good everyday wig. I feel like this is going to look good on a lot of different face shapes and sizes and lengths. And you know, I just think this is going to be a great everybody wig for everyday wear. Okay guys, so this has been On Point by Raquel Welch in the color Rusty Auburn. Thank you Name Brand Wigs for sending me this wig and giving me the opportunity to review it on my channel. There'll be a direct link in the description box below. Take your right to Name Brand Wigs and you can pick out your favorite color for On Point. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, do a little chit chat down in the comments. Let me know what you think and let me know if you have On Point, what you think about it. Okay guys, I will see you in my next video.